Reading through the Psalms and Proverbs in 30 Days, Day 29, Psalm chapter 140, heading for the choir director, a Psalm of David. O Lord, rescue me from evil people. Protect me from those who are violent, those who plot evil in their hearts and stir up trouble all day long. Their tongues sting like a snake. The venom of a viper drips from their lips. Interlude. O Lord, keep me out of the hands of the wicked. Protect me from those who are violent, for they are plotting against me. The proud have set a trap to catch me. They have stretched out a net. They have placed traps all along the way. Interlude. I said to you, Lord, you are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my cries for mercy. O Sovereign Lord, the strong one who rescued me, you protected me on the day of battle. Lord, do not let evil people have their way. Do not let their evil schemes succeed, or they will become proud. Interlude. Let my enemies be destroyed by the very evil they have planned for me. Let burning coals fall down on their heads. Let them be thrown into the fire or into watery pits from which they can't escape. Don't let liars prosper here in our land. Cause great disaster to fall on the violent. But I know the Lord will help those they persecute. He will give justice to the poor. Surely righteous people are praising your name. The godly will live in your presence. Psalm chapter 141 Heading A Psalm of David O Lord, I am calling to you, please hurry. Listen when I cry to you for help. Accept my prayer as incense offered to you, and my upraised hands as an evening offering. Take control of what I say, O Lord, and guard my lips. Don't let me drift toward evil, or take part in acts of wickedness. Don't let me share in the delicacies of those who do wrong. Let the godly strike me. It will be a kindness. If they correct me, it is soothing medicine. But don't let me refuse it. But I pray constantly against the wicked and their deeds. When their leaders are thrown down from a cliff, the wicked will listen to my words and find them true. Like rocks brought up by a plow, the bones of the wicked will lie scattered without burial. I look to you for help, O Sovereign Lord. You are my refuge. Don't let them kill me. Keep me from the traps they have set for me, from the snares of those who do wrong. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, but let me escape. Psalm chapter 142, heading, A Psalm of David regarding his experience in the cave, a prayer. I cry out to the Lord. I plead for the Lord's mercy. I pour out my complaints before him and tell him all my troubles. When I am overwhelmed, you alone know the way I should turn. Wherever I go, my enemies have set traps for me. I look for someone to come and help me, but no one gives me a passing thought. No one will help me. No one cares a bit what happens to me. Then I pray to you, O Lord. I say, you are my place of refuge. You are all I really want in life. Hear my cry, for I am very low. Rescue me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison so I can thank you. The godly will crowd around me, for you are good to me. Psalm chapter 143, heading a Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my plea. Answer me, because you are faithful and righteous. Don't put your servant on trial, for no one is innocent before you. My enemy has chased me. He has knocked me to the ground and forces me to live in darkness like those in the grave. I am losing all hope. I am paralyzed with fear. I remember the days of old. I ponder all your great works and think about what you have done. I lift my hands to you in prayer. I thirst for you as parched land thirsts for rain. Interlude. Come quickly, Lord, and answer me, for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me or I will die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning. For I am trusting you. Show me where to walk. For I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. 
May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your unfailing love, silence all my enemies and destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Psalm 144, heading a Psalm of David. Praise the Lord who is my rock. He trains my hands for war and gives my fingers skill for battle. He is my loving ally and my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer. He is my shield and I take refuge in him. He makes the nations submit to me. O oh Lord, what are human beings that you should notice them, mere mortals that you should think about them? For they are like a breath of air, their days are like a passing shadow. Open the heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so they billow smoke. Hurl your lightning bolts and scatter your enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse them. Reach down from heaven and rescue me. Rescue me from deep waters. From the power of my enemies. Their mouths are full of lies. They swear to tell the truth, but they lie instead. I will sing a new song to you, O God. I will sing your praises with a ten-stringed harp. For you grant victory to kings. You rescued your servant David from the fatal sword. Save me. Rescue me from the power of my enemies. Their mouths are full of lies. They swear to tell the truth, but they lie instead. May our sons flourish in the youth, like well-nurtured plants. May our daughters be like graceful pillars, carved to beautify a palace. May our barns be filled with crops of every kind. May the flocks in our fields multiply by the thousands, even ten thousands. And may our oxen be loaded down with produce. May there be no enemy breaking through the walls, no going into captivity, no cries of alarm in our town squares. Yes, joyfully are those who live like this. Joyful indeed are those whose God is the Lord. Proverbs chapter 29. Whoever stubbornly refuses to accept criticism will suddenly be destroyed beyond recovery. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in power, they groan. The man who loves wisdom brings joy to his father. But if he hangs around with prostitutes, his wealth is wasted. A just king gives stability to his nation, but one who demands bribes destroys it. To flatter friends is to lay a trap for their feet. Evil people are trapped by sin, but the righteous escaped, shouting for joy. The godly care about the rights of the poor, the wicked don't care at all. Mockers can get a whole town agitated, but the wise will calm anger. If a wise person takes a fool to court, there will be ranting and ridicule, but no satisfaction. The bloodthirsty hate blameless people, but the upright seek to help them. Fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold back. If a ruler pays attention to liars, all his advisers will be wicked. The poor and the oppressor have this in common. The Lord gives sight to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor fairly, his throne will last forever. To discipline a child produces wisdom, but a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. When the wicked are in authority, sin flourishes. But the godly will live to see their downfall. Discipline your children, and they will give you peace of mind, and will make your heart glad. When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whoever obeys the law is joyful. Words alone will not discipline a servant. The words may be understood, but they are not heeded. There is more hope for a fool than for someone who speaks without thinking. A servant pampered from childhood will become a rebel. An angry person starts fights. A hot-tempered person commits all kinds of sin. Pride ends in humiliation, while humility brings honor. If you assist a thief, you only hurt yourself. You are sworn to tell the truth, but you dare not testify. Fearing people is a dangerous trap but trusting the Lord means safety. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice comes from the Lord. The righteous despise the unjust. The wicked despise the godly. 
That's the reading through Psalms and Proverbs in 30 Days for Day 29.